Welcome to another episode of Today I Work On, and today I'm going to work on finishing my counter space in the work on garage. And I'm going to bring you up to pace on where I'm at. So I picked up all of the materials I needed to finish up this space, and I got more brackets, some 1x3s for the rear, some 1x2s for the front, so the countertop will have a lot of stability, and then a couple more brackets, and a couple of little screws and stuff. So my next step on building the counter is I need to cut this last piece of counter space and I have to notch this, this six by six. So once I do that, I'm gonna take the counter apart and then I'm gonna seam the counter in place. So like I said, this is not cabinet grade stuff. It's not like finished interior work. It's just good enough that I can just poly it, seal it, and it'll be a nice place just to work on little tools and little hobby projects. And I, I don't, I don't want to care about it. It's just a nice workspace area so I can put some long stuff if I need to. Like when I do the drywall sander, this is a perfect spot to do it on. So just things like that. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get working on this area. struggle getting that counter back into that spot. I was so into it I forgot to, to film it by mistake, but it was, doing it solo was not easy, but if you see it went in really, really well. I'm very happy about how it just turned out. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna brace the counter from underneath. I know I wanna do the one vertical piece there, I wanna do another one here at the end. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do something over here in the, in the middle. I mean, it feels pretty good. I mean, it's not like super strong, so I might have to put a brace there to hold underneath it. It's pretty rock solid, so I'm gonna get working on that. And I'm very, I'm very pleased about how it turned out though, so it's gonna be very nice. Like right here, it's kind of loose, but here, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be rock solid. So let me, let me get working on that. So I did as much as I can today. I put the end panel on and I think what I'm going to do is, so you can see the end panel is holding up the whole countertop basically. While it's flimsy, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to probably put one, two, two more pieces of three eighths or three quarter of an inch legs basically and just have them sit on the floor and then what I'll do is, I'll have this for my workspace for my chair and then this area and this area on this side I'll make the rolling cabinets. So I think it worked out pretty well and it's a pretty big space. We're talking basically 12 and a half feet of counter space which is pretty big. And I'm also going to make a little rolling cabinet and I'm going to be able to roll it right next to this shelf so I could cut material if I want with my miter saw. So it'll be a nice long flat piece of countertop that I could use for many different purposes. So I don't know what I'm going to finish it in. I might epoxy it. Epoxy is so strong it might be the best bet instead of just doing some polyurethane. So I, I'll see. I've been messing with epoxy lately and it's really cool. And I think I'm probably going to go down that road. I got to do a little bit of research, but that's it for today. So I'm going to continue finishing up this area tomorrow. And I'm very excited. Once I get this area done, I'm actually going to start organizing all my tools 
I'm bringing all my work tools in here and seeing what fits where. And then I could game plan on the other side of the work on garage. But I really want to get all of my work tools out of my regular garage because I got to prep. I have a track event coming up and we're bringing a boat home. So I need to start organizing all my stuff to get ready for these two events. So on that note, I will. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow. Would you just look at this? Would you look at this county space? I walked in this morning, permanent smile. I said, that's my county space. This is gonna be my home, away from home. I might put a couch here, why not, right? Plan for today is to finish off this area. So the next step is I'm gonna organize all my tools on this side of the garage. The, the other side, I still need to feel out whatever I have left that I need to organize, I'm gonna build to fit on the other side of the garage. But there is so much space here, I might be able to fill up everything I have in my old garage on this side alone. So it might give me other options on what I could build on the other side of the garage. So I have to run back to Home Depot because I need more material, of course, because these boxes are gonna take up a lot of material since they're gonna be 24 inches and I'm gonna also put a shelf in them and I might also put a back on them. So it's, it's not gonna, it's also not gonna be cheap. So I'm kind of dreading it. The casters alone, the rolling casters are like 40 bucks for each set. So I need one, well, yeah, one, two, I probably need three sets. So right there, 60, well, 40, that's 120 bucks. That's not including the lumber that's super expensive, but I gotta get it done. I, I need to get this done. So let me stop talking and let me start working on finishing off the countertop area. material for the shelving unit and I'm gonna try to be creative to try to save some money on the shelving system well shelving rolling cart aka like multi-purpose cabinet so I'm gonna do this the first thing I need to do are the legs that hold up the counter because then I'll know how big I need to make my actual shelving adjustable rolling units so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to use some plywood that I had left over in my other garage and then I'm going to work on that and then probably head off and vote. I don't know how long that's going to take, but hopefully it's a quick process so I can come back and start building these little rolling shelving units. So let me get to work on that. Alright, the legs are done. The counter is nice and solid. It's a little bit weak here. I mean, it's not horrible. But you know what? I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it like that. I think it's fine. My main work area where the window's gonna be is nice and really rock solid. So that part is done. Now I'm gonna go vote. So, uh, I'm gonna go vote, and I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna start building some cabinets. So, I'll be back in a little bit. Welcome to another day of today I work on, and today, I have to work on what material I have in the, the work on garage. So that means I'm probably gonna build one more section of shelving on this back wall right here. So that's, I'm definitely sure about that area, the eight foot section. Other than that, I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the sections of the walls, but it's raining out. All the material for the rolling storage cabinets, it's in the van, which is 150 feet away. And between the work on garage and the van, there's a whole lot of mud. 
So I can't bring the van down here. I'm not gonna walk in the rain, in the mud. It's just not worth it. I have plenty of material in here to work. So that's the plan. I'm gonna work on this shelving unit. And then also yesterday, I went to vote and it took 90 minutes to vote. <laughs> it was, it was a long, it was a long wait. It was a nice, every, it was a cordial wait for the most part, but it was a long wait. So yesterday was ruined and I couldn't even start building the rolling storage cabinets, which is fine. So I'm going to switch gears up a little bit and that's what you got to do. You got to, you know, you got to move and you got to adapt and that's how life works. So that's the plan today and let me stop talking and let me start working on that. another day of today at work on and, and today I'm gonna to work on finishing what I started yesterday which I wasn't even in a mood to work on which were these shelves I really want, wanted to work on the cabinets underneath the countertop and the rain just killed that vibe but today it stopped raining and that's that's the plan finish what I started here these shelves which I'm basically done with it'll probably take me not much time and then I'm gonna go directly and start building these rolling cabinets that I really am excited to make. So I'm not gonna waste any more time and let me start working on this stuff. Finish the shelving. Pretty straightforward. I built, this is my fourth section that I built. This was the easiest section because they were only four feet. I mean, I'm sorry, they were only eight feet. Standard box, didn't have to attach anything else to the system. So that's gonna be it. I think that's gonna be it for the shelving on this side. I'm probably gonna put smaller shelving on this wall like only 12 inches deep, but like a kind of a melamine. So I'll get to that in a little bit. But for now, I think that's a wrap for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you like what I'm doing, please like the videos so I know which ones are good and which ones are not. And if you like all the videos and you wanna see what else we're doing, please click the subscribe button and click the notification button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.